Hello there. It's a little breezy outside, so we've moved to the indoor classroom to talk about whelks. The whelks found here on Edisto and in South Carolina, these are some of them. Starting over on the left is the knobbed whelk. Probably the most common one you'll find. This is a rather dirty one that was buried, but it's got these knobs and that's what gives it the name. The channel or channeled whelk is smooth. You don't see those knobs on the spirals. This one looks a lot like the knobbed whelk, but this is a lightning whelk. The difference being that it opens up on the left-hand side. If you hold it so that this long, narrow point, not the spirals, are facing downward, you'll see that the knob whelk opens on the right, the channel whelk opens on the right, the lightning whelk actually opens on the left. It's usually a warmer water whelk, so we find more of those in Florida than you do on the southeast or uh, the South Carolina coast. But we do have the lightning whelks wash up. And a lot of people remember this because you can say, I saw lightning and I left, or lightning and left both start with an L. So this left-hand sided opening is what distinguishes a lightning whelk from the knobbed whelk. And then a conch in name is the horse conch. This is the horse conch here and here, same animal. This one just has the tip broken off. But these are actually not a true conch. Conchs are herbivor herbivorous, herbivores that eat on the seagrass found in South Florida and the Caribbean. And this horse conch is a predatory snail. It's eating other mollusks. So it's not a true conch, even though it gets that name. It's actually part of the tulip snail family. This is a banded tulip. And so the horse conchs, the tulips are all in the same family. And that's actually a misnomer. So something that people often get confused on the beach, they'll say they were out collecting conchs or they want to find conchs or they love conch shells. Well, in this area, what we have are whelks, similar to conchs, but some pretty big differences in terms of their diet and what they're uh, doing, how they're acting out in the water. So I wanted to give you examples of each of these so that you could determine the difference between the knobbed whelk, the channel whelk, the lightning whelk, and the horse conch, which again is really part of the tulip snail family. Thanks for joining us on our virtual science lesson. I hope this helps your beachcombing.